Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So it's his head, right? Close up on his head and we're going to start with the eye as usual. So the eye is kind of up near the top half of my page, right? So from center point to here, the eye up right near the top, leave a bit of a gap for his eyebrow, right? And we're just going to start with his beady little eye. So it's kind of a lemon shape. So we curve it up like so, like that. And then curve around for the tear duct and back around to the other side. Okay, so kind of like a lemon, kind of diagonal. And then his pupil, just here. No iris or anything, just a pupil. Makes it look kind of creepy, I guess. So then around that, so we got like some lines, right? So we got like curve line around for like top eyelid, just there like that. And then some more like underneath here, kind of bags underneath the eye. And then some lines like coming across the top here as well. Like so. Okay, so then we have like an eyebrow above that, right? So we got like, like a big, you can see here, so we're gonna go, and it can be like a bumping line, it's got like, you know, raised bumps and stuff on it. And it kind of comes down the front of his face here. Like that, okay. And then we can have another sort of eyelid line or something inside here. It's like a bag around his eye or something. Just these sorts of lines like so. So then this uh, eyelid, right? So this sort of eyebrow eyelid-ish area, right? So we got like more raised bumps and things, right? So coming up around here. And then we bring it down. And these again can be bumpy. This is going to run down towards his nostril, okay? So, like so. And then in here we can have scales and things. Like this kind of stuff, yeah? So, like lizardish, lizard like bumps and scales. Okay, and then maybe like, just like a line coming down from there, like maybe some sort of scales coming down like that. And then like just a, a line coming down for his cheekbone, just here. And like various sort of sections for scales and things like that. Right, so now the big snout, right, comes out from here. It right, comes out from the top of his brow, just sort of in line with the top of his eyelid here. It starts to curve out this way. And it can be a bumpy line, right? It can be sort of bumpy and wrinkly. Goes all the way out, really big, right? Like this. And then it's going to curve around here for his top lip. Okay. So then the top lip line. So it'll go, say like, it'll join this, right? So it'll go around again. And it can be a bumpy kind of line. Doesn't have to be straight, you know, because he's like, it's all scaly and stuff, and there's like lines of scales all on this as well. So this will curve down. So like it's like a tooth or something that's like sticking out here. It's kind of pointy, so it like sticks out 
there, just kind of underneath the back of his eye. Like so. So then we keep going for the back of the jaw, runs back this way. starts to curve up so we're going to curve it back and meet the back of his head right so we got like more bumps and fins and things so like bumps in like so it's a very particular type of shape it kind of reminds me of a shoe or something and then we'll go up into here and then bump it around into there. So now we've got like loads of scales and things all inside. So, and scars. This T-Rex has like scars on his face, okay? He's been through battles. So the nostril is just here at the front. It'd be worth drawing that in and help make things make sense. So, it's just like a skinny oval just here at the front, like that. And then on the nose, we have this sort of circular oval like area. So like under here. So like it can be sort of a broken sort of line. Coming around here, right? It's kind of a patch on his nose or something. And then more scales sort of coming down his nose here. Sort of joins the front of this section. Like that kind of thing. Um, right, and then there's all scales coming along here. So like you're just sort of adding this sort of stuff coming down. Right, so these sort of circles and lots of this kind of stuff. So you can kind of make this up as you go. It doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Some of them can be smaller than others. Some of them can be bigger. Just these sort of bumps and letter ends kind of thing. And I'm gonna put a scar here actually. And just leave a gap and then like scar lines. Oh, and maybe another one here. Maybe another one in here. We make them real scarred. Old T-Rex. And keep going these bumps coming along like so and we'll go up the back he's he's also got like um a circular oval like area in here as well so it's kind of like like this kind of thing, except it's on like the side of his head, just in here. So again, it can be a broken line, it doesn't have to be like major. And then you can add more sort of bumps and lines and things. You're gonna do as much of this stuff now as you want, like as much of these scale lines. You can do as much of this, you don't have to do a lot. The lines coming up from his mouth. This is like all the detail stuff. Right? We can come back to that and we can just finish the rest of the, get the major shape for his head, right? So we can just see another bump for his eyebrow just back here, around the other side of his head. 
you know, this can have some scales and stuff on it coming around here. Just back there. Okay, so then his other jaw, right? So we got the, f the top jaw done. So we go down for the back of his jaw, right? Kind of comes out this way. And it's gonna come underneath real big, like crazy big, okay? So his mouth is open now, right? So it's not going like up to there, it's like down, right? So real big line. Okay, and this is gonna go limping down this way. there and then the inside of that jaw then shadow or something here and we're gonna go this way so this and then then we'll go down underneath his teeth there and then we got like this skin flap just inside here and that could have like a couple of like phone lines or something on it like so and then like a jaw line just say there and again as much sort of dragon skin as you want to do. But I can come back to that anyway. We'll add his teeth and tongue and stuff like that. So let's go for teeth. So zigzag sort of lines. Big ones, little ones. Coming down here. Again, there's no real technique to, to this part. You're just adding big teeth, small teeth. Curving kind of like shark fins coming out of his mouth. Like so, right? So then we can see his tongue just in here, right? Comes down behind these teeth, down this way, down the front down into here somewhere. And then we got teeth in behind, sticking up and out, so. On the other side of his mouth, you know. And then we have his sort of gum line on the other side of his mouth. So it comes down, you know, kind of the, the opposite side of his mouth that we can see over the other side like that. And then the skin flap on that side curves up and out to there. There might be like another line just in there. And if you want, you can put like a shadow in this side. So that kind of thing, just a shadow with some hatching lines or something just in there. Um, and then teeth on top.
So some teeth in behind others. You know, because we can see like some teeth on the other side of his mouth as well, sticking down here. Like that. So lots of big gnarly teeth. So maybe one more just there. And then we'll do these ridges and bumps on the jaw, those sort of texture lines and bumps and things. So. So as much of that as you want to do, feel free to do more, of course. I might do some like texture lines on his teeth. Right, so neck. So big neck, right? So comes out just underneath his jaw, like here. Yeah, so like out here. big hanging down sort of jowl like neck down here and then the top of his neck comes out the top of his head so it comes out like right up here like so and then it'll go down the way like that And then we can see a kind of a ridge on his back. So like, you know, like his spine sort of area here. So it comes down, comes down to there. And then we have lots of like veins and skin lines and things. So like a wavy sort of bumping line like this like three of them. So, and they're kind of a thicker sort of line. You got a bit of a shadow on them. Like that and add like another one here. Keep, keep it kind of a, a thicker line, just adding a shadow to it, just kind of doubling it up, making it look just a bit thicker than the other lines. Like that, and then you may have like some more sort of skin and texture lines underneath his neck. This kind of stuff and then some more sort of wrinkles and things going up his neck here you know like this kind of like tree branches like so and like stuff like that down here too but not as much it seems just 
these texture lines going as much as you want. And then like some lines just for his spine, just kind of up here. So we could see like the starts of a shoulder line or something just here. And some more like lines for like skin just on here. like that and if you want you can thicken up some of the lines for the outside of his head just to give it a sort of a shadow give him more scars if you want But, okay, I think I'll leave it there. That is the best I can do. Um, you can keep going for hours at stuff like this. But I will stop soon. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Um, no, I won't. drawing okay <laughs> there you go it's how to draw a t-rex hope it was helpful guys thanks for watching see you in the next one